It's the morning of truth. Will I be able to have cold AC while also being able to then turn the heat on? Which means we fixed it, or did we did we fail? Uh, I have a feeling it's going to work out. This morning, I'm going to head over to the parts store. I'm going to replace, uh, not replace, but I'm going to return this door that we didn't end up using. If you saw yesterday's video, we replaced the uh, essentially the motor to the blend door. Pain in the butt if you didn't see that. Uh, and then this is the leftover uh, refrigerant. There's three bottles, and I think they're like 20 bucks, 27 bucks each. They're insanely expensive. We used seven or eight to fill this thing up. Um, so my fingers are crossed. You know, if we correctly opened up the, uh, the taps or the, uh, the valves inside the engine, I think we fixed the problem because check it out, it's about 40 degrees. Disregard this one down here, this one's not working. It's about 40 degrees and, uh, let's for example go from cold to hot and see if anything happens. Yep, yep, hot air is now coming out right now. You won't be able to see it on the uh, thermometer right away because the metal is still cold, but as you can see, the temperature is uh, increasing. Uh, it's now 80 degrees coming out of there, and the heat is on, and this is getting hot. So I now have a 100% functioning air conditioning system still on vent, we'll just hit it to cool. This should uh, blow out cold air. It jumped all the way up to about 95 degrees before I switched it over. Now I would say the air coming out of here is about 70, and then if you hit the AC on, then it, you know, creeps down into the 40s, so it's fixed. <laughs> it is fixed. All right, I might have spoke too soon. I got it on cold AC, and uh, it is only blown 80 degrees. All right, so we're back. We're checking things out, and by we, I mean Batch, yet again. See that? See what? It's fucking 90 degrees, right? Yeah. That's telling you that it's charged. So I'm thinking that electric switch is the one that it's not cutting in. Remember I told you that if the air conditioning's not working, it'll tell you the temperature it is outside? Yep. And then what is it? 90, 92 degrees, right? So that means it's charged. Yep. This one's not hooked up, so don't look at that. All right. Yeah. Okay, let's give it a whirl. We got it charged. I'm sure it's that electric switch on that. Because it's not cutting. You can see down here, you can see the clutches. Is, the clutches is turning. And the, and the clutch is right there. And it, it's not pulling out. And and when the clutch engages, that's when it, it, it operates. Well, that's when the belt powers the AC to turn on. What are you going to do with the switch right there? You're, gonna the you're, you're just going to wiggle yeah. it around? Yeah. All right. All right, he's wiggling it around. And you, you can see it it, it it stops for a second and then it turns on. It yeah. It right? Yeah, it stops and then goes back and stops. It kind of engages and stops. All right, he got it to engage. Yeah, now it's working. I want you to know that I'm out here looking at your truck and the Daytona 500's on. I just want you to know that. I just want you to know that. I know that, and I, I appreciate you. That's why I got you like that. five pounds of meat. Oh my God. Beef, pork, and chicken. Whoa. How about it? You call we're it a be, deal? We're going to be pig. We're going to be pig tonight, buddy. Is that, you got a deal? Yeah, we're a deal. <laughs> Look at that. We're already down to 60. Look at that. Imagine the magician does it again. I don't even know how to repay you, man. Like, seriously. You can't. We already told you that. <laughs> well, through this magic of storytelling, it's the next day. I took a shower. And um, we're going to go to the parts store. This is on order for tomorrow. Today's a holiday. It's President's Day. We need to figure out what part that is and get that ordered. Uh, and we have about... I'd say 40 minutes to get to the store and get that part ordered. So we got a boogie. Good news! We made it about a quarter mile I'll down say the dirt. Yet, though. We're not proof. We gotta prove this. Alright. Hold it. We might have fixed it. Out. Loose connection.
Loose connection, he says. Looks like this thing is a little loose or frayed or something. So what are you doing in there? The terminals, they loose up because they're pins, right? So these here little things, I don't say they're perfect, they're far from perfect. But you just, hey, you just bend them pins a bit and then put it back in. We'll clean it out with some brake clean. Alright. That could be it. Because you did fiddle with this and then it imme always. immediately started working. Ford, it's always stupid shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, you can see there, those, uh, this end of it's kind of bent back a little bit. Sometimes you just cut that end off there. This is the new clutch, right? Yeah. Cut that end off there. But the thing is, is that if you put new ends on, they don't bend these a little bit. It's like having a shower and putting your dirty clothes on. <laughs> so nothing really gets accomplished is what you're saying? Pretty much, yeah. Okay, now start it up and we'll see if this thing keeps running. All right, here we go. We're on max AC, cool, fans on high. You ready? So we're back on. He's fiddling with it. Survey says, I know that face. It works. Of course it works. See, and then look over here, you just wiggle it around. All right. Because remember, I wiggle it down the road, right? Yep. Okay. All right, so the clutch is engaged right there, yes? Yeah. Okay. You got to turn it, right? Yep. And then you take the pin off. Stop spinning. That's and right. Put it back in. There we go. Yeah. All right. Problem solved. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We said that the last three days. Didn't we? we did say the last three days. So uh, I think we're gonna go for a test drive now. <laughs> oh, Jack. Am I gonna freeze my butt off? You're gonna freeze your butt off. Yes. You're gonna think you're in the Arctic when you're sitting in Arizona. <laughs> or Canada. Or Canada. <laughs> well, it seems to be working. We got ice cold air coming out here, 40 degrees. If we turn this to warm, say for some strange reason it goes from a 90 degree day to a 20 degree day, we got hot air now. And Badge the Magician did it again. Yeah. Put it back on, uh, put on mix. All right, uh, mix. Okay, now mix will give you a dash, right? It should, it's not. Now. Yeah? That's pretty hot. Look at it, it's up to 80 degrees. But there's no there's no air out of this one or this one. Yeah, but it's... it's... Okay, go there. Uh, uh, get the dash in. Oh, the dash might not. The dash doesn't work on that. Uh, Mix? There, feel that. Oh yeah, that's you know, hot. You only get floor and uh, dial. You only get a very little bit out of here, right? Uh, oh, yeah, okay, because we're not going fast or what? No, well, that and that just doesn't... Do it. Okay. The dash ones are mostly air conditioned. So now, if you pull the jacks and you put it over the AC, well, it's not cold yet. It's not cold yet, jacks. Yeah. Yeah. It's, there's no, and it's still blowing hot air, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you gotta wait a couple of minutes for it. To, you turn this back there over we go. to cold. Yeah. See? I mean, it, it's almost. Now look at that. It's almost That's frozen right now. It's almost in instantaneously almost instantaneous. cold. It's like this is better than it was brand new. This, yeah, it is actually. Now, now just now you're going along cold right now. Remember, I told you about AC. Yep. Okay, now put it here. Right. Yep. And it warms up, right? Yep. Okay. So just remember. Oh, oh it turned off now. That's right. No, it's coming through the AC and it's using AC to warm it up. Because remember what I told you, Ford and Freightliner and them used uh, air condition to keep the moisture off the windows, right? Uh-huh. And that's what they do. Oh. And if you put that on, like if you put it start up cold in the morning, you'll feel the air coming out of here right away because the AC's on. Yeah. Because it's faster to warm up the AC than it is to warm up the heater. And then you turn it back to cold. Look at this. This is crazy. 
<laughs> it's crazy. Huh? It's crazy because it works. Look, it's cold already. Yeah, it is. I, I got my hand on there, and it's it's cold. It's forty degree air already. It, yeah, it, it it's it's it works. You're a genius. Coming out, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can proudly say. Probably say what? Proudly and probably say badge fix the badge fix AC everybody badge <laughs> badge finally. finally after uh. After a couple of years of having this bus, paying 2500 bucks, getting ripped off in Utah, Badge I'm finally. Not you off though. True. He's not ripping me off, but Badge, Badge was the only one to fix it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> and I was just commenting. Yeah, Flower Bear will probably say different. He <laughs> probably said I fixed it too good. <laughs> Claire Bear is going to be freezing her little butt off. Cause we got some cold, cold air. But now we're gonna tackle this uh, rear camera. I was given a 190 degree backup camera by someone at the RTR. And I think I have his business card somewhere, but I don't know where it is. Um, so I just wanna say thank you for the kind gesture and the kind gift. And uh, this little guy is a lot smaller than that little guy. And yeah, it's a, a better wide angle camera because that one that one doesn't do so so well. Alright, here's a reality as I know it right now. I have to hang on to this little plug while badge feeds me okay, the, the other wires. That's that's, sure. that's the old one. Okay. There, the new one's right oh, there. Yeah. Hopefully this is long Back enough, huh? On it. Okay. Yep. Alright. I don't like this uh Fiberglass insulation right there, not to be a complainer, but it makes your hands itch like crazy. Got the red connected. The yellow is right here, but I need the connector, which is over there now. All right, if I had four hands, I could have filmed what I did, but I basically just connected these new wires. One's yellow, one's red, and then I covered them with electrical tape. <coughs> and then I put the key to the on position, and look at how much better Hang on. Badge, we're upside down. There we go. Look at how much better the quality of the camera. <laughs> Is it working? Yeah. Is it working, <laughs> Yeah, that's hilarious. The ca Dude, the camera's so good. It's working really good. Yeah. This is what this is what the new backup camera looks like. It's way higher in quality. Actually, yeah, it's way higher in quality and it has this uh, red, like the warning. So how, you know, the closer you get, it's red, yellow, blue, green. Um, let me just show you guys the brand. Like I said, I forget the guy's name who uh, gave it to me. I think I have his cards in place. But this, here's the box for it. Here's the serial number if anybody needs a really good backup camera. This is a premium backup camera. It's a Natika backup camera with waterproof HD rear view camera and 170 degree wide angle. Um, there we go. There's another, there's another thing right there. And then it says all the little things on it. So this is, this is really good. This is what I was looking for in the beginning. There we go. This is uh, who gave me the camera, Steve Nobler. Thank you very much. This is a great, great gift. Um, not to share Steve, too much information about Steve, but he has a history, uh, experience in this kind of stuff that was okay, partially, partly his profession. All right, bad. Just screaming out there. Final adjustment. It looks good, dude. Working? Yeah, it looks it good. Looks good. Is it working? Yeah, it looks great. <laughs> and there we have it. A functioning backup camera. And their badges. <laughs> Working away as always.